In this video, we will add the footprints. To find the footprint in your computer, open the PCB editor. Create a new board file. This is a test board file. You can give any name. We are not saving this file. To view the PCB editor and the schematic file simultaneously, I am arranging them side by side. Go to place, manually, go to advanced setting, select library, go back to placement list, in this box select package symbols, here you can see all the package symbols you have in your computer. We already know that the footprint of this op-amp is dual inline package 8 in short DIP8 let's scroll down to find out something close to that so we have the DIP8 packets in our computer as DIP8 underscore 3 you have to write this name in the footprint box for this op-amp Double click the op amp and you will see this window. Here you can edit the footprint name. You scroll right to find the footprint box. Here, write the footprint name DIP8 underscore 3. Close this window. For this component, 3 pin connector, we already know that the footprint is jumper 3. So let's write down the footprint name. So where the footprint looks, let's have a look. Jumper 3. After spending some time in PCB designing, you will have some idea what footprints you have and what are the standard footprints of different components. So don't worry about it too much. Close the window. For this connector, the footprint is jumper 2. That is this footprint having two pins. Scroll right and right. Jumper 2. Close the window. For this connector, the footprint is also jumper 2. Close the window. For this register, the footprint is AX300. Let's find the footprint here. So we have two AX300 footprint here. The number 300 means that the distance between these two holes is 300 mils. Then the next number 100 means the width of the package is 100 mils and the last number 0 to 8 means the hole diameter. This is pretty standard for the through hole registers. Let's use this footprint for our register. Write the name AX300X100 0 to 8. Make sure that you write the footprint name correctly, otherwise it will not work. 
I am making a copy of the footprint because we will need this for the other registers as well. Close it. Same footprint for this register as well. Okay. Here. Close it. For the capacitors, we are going to use the footprint cap 196 as I shown in the class. This is the very common footprint for capacitors, for through hole capacitors. Write this name for the footprint of the capacitors. One ninety six. Orchid is not case sensitive, so you can write either uppercase or lowercase letters. Cap one ninety six. Close. Now to make sure that you have set all the footprints correctly, select all the components by pressing Ctrl and A. And then press Ctrl and E to open up the property editor window. At the lower bottom corner, select Parts tab. Scroll right to find the foot PCB footprint column. And you can see all the footprints we have set. In the next video, I am going to show you how to export the netlist. Thank you.